Welcome to Amanda Enterprise. Amanda Enterprise will radically change the way you view backup and restore. Utilizing the popular Amanda open source backup software, combining it with the revolutionary's Amanda Management Console, backup becomes easy to use yet still flexible and powerful. This demo will walk you through the backup and restore processes for backing up Microsoft Exchange using Amanda Enterprise. Amanda Enterprise supports backing up Microsoft Exchange 2003 and Microsoft Exchange 2007 running on Windows Server 2003 or Windows Server 2008. In order to back up your Microsoft Exchange server, first you need to install a Zamanda client for Windows. The Zamanda client for Windows is provided in MSI format for easy graphical installation or automated scripted installation with a response file. The Zamanda client for Windows includes the Zamanda MS Exchange agent that allows Amanda Enterprise to automatically create online snapshots of the Exchange databases and transaction logs. The Zamanda MS Exchange agent is activated after you have purchased a license and installed it in your Amanda Enterprise backup server. Amanda Enterprise utilizes the Volume Shadow Services, or VSS, technology built into Microsoft Windows Server in order to perform online backups of Microsoft Exchange Server. When you install the Exchange Server software, a VSS writer is automatically included that provides integration between the Exchange database store and the VSS technology. When the Zamanda client for Windows performs a backup, the Zamanda MS Exchange agent informs VSS that a snapshot is needed. VSS works with the Exchange Server to create the snapshot. The backup is performed from the snapshot, and then the snapshot is discarded, all while allowing the Exchange Server to run and service requests at the same time. As with file system backups, the Zamanda Management Console makes Microsoft Exchange backup as simple as what, where, when, and how. To tell Amanda Enterprise what to backup, we start by creating a backup set. A backup set contains all the details necessary for Amanda Enterprise to know how to backup Microsoft Exchange. To add your Exchange server to the backup set, all you need to do is specify the client type of Exchange server and enter the host name of your server. Where, when, and how are configured the same as for file system backups. For more information, consult the Amanda Enterprise demo available online at www.zamanda.com. As always, you want to perform verification to ensure the server is working correctly and that client-server communications is properly configured. All of your verifications are listed in the activation checklist. Once you have done this, activate your backup set or perform an immediate backup just as you would normally. Amanda Enterprise will backup your Exchange server along with any other entries in your backup set, including file systems, Windows system state, and Active Directory data. For Exchange recovery, the same philosophy as with file systems is used. Specify what you want to restore and where you want the data to go. Simply enter the name of the Microsoft Exchange server you want to recover from and the date of the backup you need to restore from. You can also browse the summary reports and restore directly from the report screen. Then, click Explore to graphically browse the backup set data. For a full restore, select all files. For a more detailed restore, browse to find the Exchange databases and transaction logs you wish to restore. Next, pick the location where you want the recovered files to go. When you're ready to restore your Microsoft Exchange backup, you will need to decide whether to restore to a different Exchange server or to the original Exchange server. If restoring to the original Exchange server, you will also need to choose between an in-place restore or an alternate location restore. To recover specific pieces of data, select an alternate location restore. This will allow you to use the Exchange database tools to extract mailboxes and or messages from porting into your running server. To restore an entire server, select an in-place restore. Make sure that you select the appropriate conflict resolution settings if you are going to perform an in-place restore. When performing an in-place restore, you will also need to configure your Exchange Server database to allow recovery. To do this, open the System Manager in Exchange 2003 or the Exchange Management Console in Exchange 2008 and navigate to the mailbox stores for the server you are restoring to. For each database you plan to restore, make sure that the box labeled This Database Can Be Overwritten by Restore option is checked. Once you have selected the databases and or transaction logs you wish to restore, and, if necessary, prepare the Exchange Server databases, then you are ready to initiate the restore process. First, verify the source and destination servers are correct and click Restore to begin the restore process. 
The Zamanda MS Exchange agent will stop the necessary exchange services, restore the databases and or transaction logs, and restart the exchange services all automatically. More information on Amanda Enterprise, including the online Amanda Enterprise demo, is available on the website at www.zamanda.com AEE. Information and documentation for backing up and restoring Microsoft Exchange databases is available on the Zamanda network at network.zamanda.com. Finally, for sales inquiries and information, please email us at zsales at zamanda.com. Thank you.